It is now 6.17. Wow, such a deal. It is almost time for ice fishing, Matt Wentz. <laughs> oh, my gosh. Not quite, I think but, you're jumping wow. ahead there, but... You know, it won't be long. <laughs> That's true. Those yes. are bad words around here, unless you're Carl. <laughs> Carl Bactyl. Carl Bactyl loves. You, you know what I expert. thought of this? He yeah. asked a colleague of, of ours mm -hmm. when he was ready to go ice fishing. <laughs> <laughs> That's what made me think of that. Uh, I've got some maps to show you that may kind of tie into what you're, <laughs> oh, what you're throwing out there. Uh, but, you know, it's getting cooler outside. It's a sign of the times. Let's get to the numbers, shall we? You know, we started our day well in the 60s and I told you last night heading out the door you want to have that jacket because we are back into the 50s and we're staying there for the next couple hours until we hit the 40s but look by and large we are much much cooler than where we were 24 hours ago and that is courtesy of that potent cold front that went through overnight and during the early morning hours and it's also coming in via northwest wind gusting upwards of 30 miles per hour along the lake shore that's where we're seeing the gusts it becomes a little bit lesser as you head inland down towards summit county carroll and uh, tuscarora's counties as well but still a pretty decent breeze. So the big picture looks like this. Here's Michael, still a tropical storm heading up the east coast. This front has kind of wiped it out, so it is preventing it from reaching us. It's getting caught up in that jet stream, and that jet stream is the thing that's bringing in that not only biting wind out of the northwest in spots, but it's also producing, yeah, some lake effect rain and snow up in the UP of Michigan. How about that? And you can see we have transitioned this air mass from the warmth that we had over the last week to a much different looking weather map. Lots of blues and greens on here as we have uh, cooler temperatures. But Russ Mitchell, I said, you know, hey, we've got cooler temperatures and look what we've got off to our west. Frost advisories and freeze warnings. Yes, friends, it's a time of year for that. Not expecting anything locally out of this system. I do think we see our First frost next week, though, as we have temperatures dipping down to the 30s. It looks like Tuesday morning at this point. But tonight, no frost, no freeze. We'll be down to the 40s. Now, that, take in mind, this is the lake shore near Cleveland. That lake helps protect us. I think inland we're down into the low 40s near Akron, but not expecting any frost. The reason why the breeze is going to continue, we're going to see these clouds hanging on. Maybe a couple lake effect showers. I think they might be a little bit overdone. But look at your wake up temperatures tomorrow morning. As you're getting the kids ready for school. We're talking 30s in spots where we get those clearing skies, perhaps for you in Worcester over towards Mansfield. 40s for others. Warmest near that lake shore. Friday, it starts dry. We see sunshine mixed with clouds throughout the day. But remember, guys, that I canceled that barbecue tomorrow night? This is why. Look what happens tomorrow evening. This is Friday night football plans. Clouds are going to thicken tomorrow during the afternoon and evening, and we have a steady raw rainfall tomorrow evening. Look at this. In fact, near the lake shore, we're going to have some lake enhancement to that. We may have just a general moderate to heavy rain lakeside, and that happens for a couple hours. Saturday, we finally start to clear out with some lake effect showers elsewhere. Uh, it should be pretty nice. And the patterns stay in fall like that's what all these blues and greens show you guys. It's going to stay cool for a while, but tomorrow night, I just want to give you advance warning. It's looking raw. Universal Windows Direct 7 day forecast. Nice day until the evening. Weekend not looking too bad at this point. I think Sunday, the pick of the weekend, will warm up a little bit, and next week we stay cool. Temps in the 50s. Going to need that extra layer in the stands tomorrow night. Oh, man, and or umbrella. A and yeah. a poncho, yeah. <laughs> yeah. All right, Matt, thank you.